this video, I want to explain to you the difference between append and merge using examples. We're going to go through it step by step on how to do it, either using DAX or Power Query, and also when you should use either or. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fennan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's jump right into the demo here and here we have a very simple Power BI report and I want you to pay attention to some of the tables that I've created here. Um, we have three different queries, January, February and March. Uh, sales and all of them follow the sort of same kind of format and if we just uh, show it here so you, they just have two columns they have the country column and then the sales column and let's say we have a scenario where we want to report on our historical sales across the whole month so for us to do that here in Power BI, we'll need to combine these tables into one. And this is what we call append, which is basically stacking your data on top of one another. So let's try to do that in Power Query first. Um, and in order to do that, we'll need to hit transform, which will bring us to the Power Query here. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to create a new table here. We'll duplicate this one just in the meantime. And then we'll create this one, sales PQ. And in order to append uh, the tables together, uh, it's pretty simple. There's a button here, append queries. And if we click on that, we know that uh, we need two tables in a, that we want to add in this new query that we've created. So we'll click three or more tables. And then we'll say, okay, I want you to put the February and March sales as well. And we hit OK. So one thing to bear in mind when you're appending columns in Power Query is that the names of the columns needs to be exactly the same for the data or the columns to stack on top of one another. If they don't match, it will create during the append a new column for you. So you'll see that here uh, we have the sales column, which is um, what these first two are using, but not quite on the uh, on the second part, which is the February sales. So if we look at the queries again, you will see on the February sales, it's called total sales. So um, let's just fix that really quickly. So here it's sales. And now if we go back to our sales power query, you'll see that now they are stacked on top of one another as you want. So now that we've fixed that, let's say we want to add another column in this table so that we can group our data by region. Now um, we can use the country as a reference and I've created a table here that just has the countries that we have in our scope and also what region they belong to. Either they are uh, within the EU or out of the EU. And basically what we want to do is we want to extract or do some sort of VLOOKUP to get the region column into our sales table here. And this kind of combination is what we call the merging of data, which is basically uh, combining data side by side. And to do that in Power Query is also quite simple. So all you need to do is click Merge uh, which will need to select now the region, which is uh, what we want to merge. And then what we need to do is we need to select between the two tables, what are the matching columns that we want to use. So let's say for all the countries that match, uh, match it with the country column in our regions table. So if we just hit okay there, we need to expand and select the column that we want to bring in. We want to bring in the region. That's all we need and we can just untick this if you hit OK. So you now get the region. So you'll see that it matches with uh, your table here with the sales uh, that the sales table that we've created. So now that you know the difference between the merge and append and also you know how to do these activities in Power Query, I want to show you how you can do the similar activities merging and appending using DAX. So let's hit close and load here for now. And let's go back to our Power BI desktop here. 
So now you'll see on the right hand side, we have this new table, the uh, sales table that we created in Power Query. And we want to get the same results, except uh, done purely in DAX. And to do that is actually pretty simple. So first, we'll need to create a new DAX table here. We'll name this one sales DAX. So the first thing that we'll need to do is column to a function called select columns. This allows us to get data from a specific table in our data sets by declaring the table that we want to pull from. And then we can create uh, custom expressions or in the new columns that we want to create. So we'll create a new column first called country. And then in this, we want to say for this new column country, add the January sales country uh, column in it and then let's do another one we'll do sales and let's say if in the sales column we want to put the sales uh, data from the january sales table and if you hit okay for now you'll see exactly what it's doing so it's uh, selecting the data from the january sales table and it's creating these two columns for us in this uh, this part so you'll see uh, this part is the one that generates the country column and then this part is the one that generates the sales column over here using this same function we'll do the same thing for the february sales and march sales as well and we'll wrap them around a variable so we'll create a variable here so uh so i'll create the variable here so I'll copy this first i'll say variable and let's say we'll name the variable January and we'll say January, this is what your value is. And we'll do Fed as well. And I'm just gonna quickly configure this. So now that we have all the months in a variable, uh, we'll just create a return here and we'll use a function called union. Union is basically uh, the equivalent of the append in Power Query, but except it's in DAX. And it says here, it returns the union of the tables whose columns match. So we've created these three variables, these three tables um, that have the exact same columns uh, between them. So all we need to do from here is to say, okay, give uh, union the January, February, and March tables from these variables. And there you go. So you now have um, all of your um, sales between the three different months in one DAX table called sales DAX. Lastly, what we want to now try to do is to merge the regions table into our DAX table in order to get a new column uh, called region that tells us if the country is either within EU or outside of EU. And to get this column in is actually even easier. So the first thing that you need to do is create a relationship between the region and your sales DAX table that you've created. So we know that they are connected by the country column here. And if you're just using the reports, uh, it's actually pretty easy because you can just bring in the country and the sales. And uh, if we bring this in a table, and uh, because there's a relationship now between the sales table and the region, you can just bring in the region right here. Um, and it just gives you the equivalent region or not uh, region EU or not EU. But if you really wanted to see the region in a column, similar to how we did it in Power Query, uh, let's just go back to here. Um, we can create a new column here. So click new column and we will say region over here and we'll use this function related. And let's say, give me the region column from the regions table. So here you have it. So you now have the um, the region as a column in your sales DAX table. Now that you know how to merge and append using either Power Query or DAX, let's talk about some of the best practices of when to use either or. So one easy thing to bear in mind with Power Query and DAX is when they do their data transformations. Power Query do their data transformations during data load. So when you hit close and loads and you see that loading bar, that's when the Power Query transforms and loads that data 
into your uh, data sets. The DAX calculations in the meantime happen in real time and it gets calculated as and when you need it. So when you have huge amounts of data and it takes too long to load, a good practice is to make sure to reduce the number of steps that happens uh, in Power Query in order to make this data load faster. However, if you have lots of tables in your data set, uh, one good way to minimize that is to combine or uh, do the transformations in Power Query instead. So in our case right here, for example, how I would approach this is actually a mixed bag between Power Query and DAX. So to combine and append the sales tables all together into one singular table, I would do it in Power Query just because it simplifies the data sets and the model. So you have one big fact table of all your sales in one query. And for the merging, I would opt in for creating the relationships instead, just because they are a lot more performance than merging in Power Query. And it also avoids you to create some unnecessary data within your already quite big sales table. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to distinguish between append and merge in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.